Hey, this is Jeff Komar again with Avid Pro Audio, and I want to take a look in this module at the new I.O. setup in Pro Tools 9. A lot has changed, and uh, I want to take a, a closer look at uh, some workflows and kind of best practices at using this. So let's get started. So I'm going to go to the setup menu first and go to I.O. And the first thing to mention here is that this is now a global or a system-based setting where previously it was always based on the session that you brought into Pro Tools. So the first thing we're going to do here is actually define our I.O. setup, and that's really important. Now the first tab is Inputs. You can define this however you want. I'm just going to click Default to give me 16 mono and 8 stereo input paths to my HDIO. Let's go take a look at Outputs and uh, see what's changed there. Now the first thing I really need to do is create my primary path, my primary mix path. And uh, in this module we're going to be looking at just stereo. So let's make a new path. And uh, I'm going to call this Mix. And you can see I've got the checkbox enabled for Add Default Channel Assignments. That's going to basically populate the chiclets for me automatically when I add new paths. Okay. While we're in here, let's make some cues as well. I'm going to make two cues. I'm going to make QA and QB. And I can add multiple paths and do multiple um, assignments essentially at the same time. This is really useful. Okay, I'm going to hit OK, hit Create, and now I've got three paths, Mix, QA, and QB. One thing you'll notice is there's no more triangles, the disclosure triangles, to indicate that there's subpaths. Well, that's because you can't have subpaths anymore in this window, and I'll explain why in a second. Let's go look at buses now. Pro Tools has automatically created three stereo output buses, Mix, QA, and QB, and if you take a look at the triangle here, you can see it's actually created for me those subpaths. So I don't have subpaths in the output path, but I do have those in the output bus. The new I.O. setup in Pro Tools 9 is all about making it easier to exchange sessions with different users, different editors and mixers, and different facilities regardless of what kind of I.O. they have. More ins and outs, different types of ins and outs, um, it doesn't matter. The idea is now, instead of tying to those physical resources in the mixer, we now tie first to a output bus. And since everybody has output buses, we can simply remap to the currently available resources on that user's system. So let's take a look at this in more detail. Now, mix is an output bus and it's mapped to a physical output we just created called mix, okay? And QA goes to QA. QB goes to QB. Pretty simple so far. Now what I want to do is actually open up a session and show you the process of remapping and making some of those changes. Now one thing that's critical is to turn off the preference or the option that says sessions overwrite current I.O. setup when opened. What I want to do here is I want to define all of my physical output resources and then I want to simply open up a session and remap. And I'm going to show you this in a second. So I'm going to hit OK. And we're going to now go and open up that session. The first thing I want to look at here is the submaster in the session. And if you take a look, everything's going ultimately to submaster and then out 1-2. Out 1-2 is grayed out. The reason it's grayed out? Out one two is mapped to a output path that's not available. 5.1 monitor is a mapped output that's inactive. Okay, so now since we opened up that session, you can see we've got more uh, buses in the bus tab. And I've got three different columns. I can click on the mapping to output and it'll sort by the types of buses. So I can see all of my output buses at the top and internal mix buses at the bottom. One thing to note is that the output buses don't count towards your 256 bus limit in Pro Tools. Only the internal mix buses do. So if we take a look at Out 1, 2, you can see it is being mapped to 5, 1 monitor. It's something that's not available. If I go to the Output tab and I click Show Last Save Setup, the system was previously using an HD Omni, which has an integrated monitor section. That's what it's referring to. I now simply need to repatch. And I'm going to do that to my stereo mix path. Okay. While we're in here, Q1 is going to mix. I actually want that to go to a discrete stereo path. So I'm going to choose QA. So let's hit OK. Now we can see that our submaster has woken up. And Out12 is happy, and it is being mapped to mix. So now with this sessions overwrite current I.O. setup when opened turned off, 
what I can do is I can define my IO setup. I can create output paths for all my physical resources. Pro Tools creates those output buses for me automatically. And now when I open up a previous session, Pro Tools is going to make output buses from that session that I can simply map or patch to my physical output paths.